Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Cudgel here. Now, today's story is a pretty funny... Uh, today's story is a pretty... What are you looking at? Why are you staring at me like that? I know. Yes, I know. This is probably a huge change, a big shock to you. We got new flannels. No longer will you see me only wearing the classic red one. I mean, I still got that one. It's probably the one I'm still gonna wear the most. But we got different colored ones now. Isn't that, isn't that fun? I got a yellow one I'm wearing right now. I actually have two yellow ones. I got this one. It's a little, little red in it. This is my, probably my favorite one. I also have a purple one I really like. I have another yellow one that's more just standard, just yellow and black. Uh, I got a blue one. We, we, we're having a fun time, okay? We're having a fun time in Nathan Cudgel HQ. Now, I understand this is a big change, a big shift in the format. You probably haven't had to deal with this much change since your parents' divorce. Too far. But I hope I can stay supportive to you guys through this big change you're all going through. Now, onto the actual video. Got a short little story for you guys today. Woman reportedly caught breastfeeding cat on Delta Airlines flight. Don't record a video for like a month, come back, and now we're, well, we're jumping right into the thick of it. A woman on a Delta Airlines flight reportedly began to breastfeed her cat during the flight and refused to stop when confronted by the crew. A now viral message posted on social media shows a screenshot of an aircraft communications addressing and reporting system message from the pilot to the ground crew, which says, request red coat meet AC passenger in seat 13A is breastfeeding a cat and will not put cat in its carrier when flight attendant requested. A hey, Breaking Bad spoilers, uh, double tap if you don't want to see it. Three, two, one. I'm just imagining Jane's dad from Breaking Bad reading that. He's just all distracted reading this and then, oh, oh shoot, two planes just collided. This is the reason, this is the real reason those planes collided. Regardless though, uh, basically what this is, is just a ground crew message. Apparently the red coats are uh, some sort of special elite airport customer service experts. These are the big guys, okay? They, they come on the plane and they tell you what's what. You doing something stupid, doing something crazy, the red coat's gonna come. And it's not gonna end like 1776 this time. Flight attendant Ainsley Elizabeth, who allegedly was on the flight, added on TikTok on November 13th, this woman had one of those like hairless cats swung up in a blanket, so it looked like a baby. Her shirt was up and she was trying to get the cat to latch on, and she wouldn't put the cat back in the care, and the cat was screaming for its life. That's my Ainsley Elizabeth impression. I highly doubt she sounds like that. And that's, that's, well, that's it for this story. Just an insane woman with a hairless cat trying to breastfeed it on a flight. Can you imagine if that's actually just a severely deformed child? Like that is a newborn baby that has some problems, is severely deformed, and the flight attendants are this insensitive, they call it a hairless, a hairless cat. This story would be a lot darker. Though in the end, I don't think it's actually that way. I think this woman really is just insane enough. She brought a hairless cat on a plane and tried to breastfeed it. Which can I just say for a second, what's up with the whole breastfeeding? Thing. It's always seemed like a weird kind of argument situation. I remember at my old job, them actually having to make a big point of it one day, like, see a woman breastfeeding a baby, do not stop her. It is not company policy to stop her. That's totally fine. Who, who stopped her? Who cares about this job enough to stop? I mean, I didn't think it was against company policy, but even if I did, I wouldn't stop her. I don't get, I, I got paid $7.25 an hour at that job. You think I care enough? Although someone must have stopped her for them to have to do an announcement. But like, who? Who cares? It seems like I, I see so many messages and stuff like, I am so sick of the misogyny of people uh, stopping women breastfeeding in public. Hashtag support for the mothers out there. Who's doing that? I'm serious. Who's doing that? I'm sure it's happened before. I, I'm sure there's a reason I see it so often, but I have yet to ever see a video ever of someone stopping a woman breastfeeding. It's always kind of seemed like an invisible fight. Like, I see so many people talk about it, but I've never actually seen that happen. I guess I know it does happen, considering they had to make an announcement to all the poor 15-year-old employees at my old job to not stop people from doing it. But it's just, it seems weird. I've gone this many years through my life, seen so many fight videos and such, and I've never seen an actual altercation. This video has gone so far off the deep end, but I just wanted to talk about this even further than there was a little more to this story. Not this story per se, but about a month later, a TikTok started going around of a woman trying to breastfeed a cat. I'll show a little clip here. She's what? She's breastfeeding a cat. No, sir, breastfeeding is allowed here on this airline. We do allow, this is nothing. No, no, it, but it's a, it's no. a cat. It's a cat. It's, a cat. it's, a, it's not a child, so it's not a baby, it's a cat. Wait, so. uh, but you, you can't, can't breastfeed breast a cat! cat on the plane. Whether not it's not a plane or not! I am holding my baby. Please, I'm asking you, just show me that you have a baby. 
He's filming you do this, by the way. Yes, you gave him permission. Right. He will take I the never gave him permission. permission. You said go ahead and take the blanket off. <gasps> so it's a cat! God. It is a cat! I told you! I told you! That video is fake. This, this story I'm telling you seems all around real. That being said, that, that TikTok video that came out like a couple weeks later, that's completely f That was made by like a viral news station kind of thing that does all sorts of outrage videos like that. That's, that's fake. Although I can understand why a lot of people thought it was real, especially considering a real story of that had just happened prior. Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed this video. Talked about flannel, talked about a woman trying to breastfeed a hairless cat. I went on a rant about the invisible fight against women breastfeeding in public. Again, I'm sure it happens. I'm sure people try to stop that. I'm just saying I've never seen it. And it's kind of weird that I've never seen that because I, I feel like any video like that, some white knight coming up on a woman breastfeeding her child and s or something and yelling at her, telling her she's scarring everyone or something, I, I'm sure that's happened, but it's weird, I've never- that- that would become instantly viral. I would see that on the front page of Reddit immediately. Even better if it ended up on fight porn and, like, the woman set the baby down and just started kicking the dude or something. I'd, it'd go viral instantly. And I see so many people talking about this, like, it's such a common issue. I'm sure it happens. I just- how have I never seen- I'm sure if I look it up now, I'll see tons of videos, just like I just described. I don't know. It just- it's weird. Hashtag support the mothers, though. Anyways, though. We had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for watching. Anything cuddles back. We got new flannels now. There was a video uploaded uh, yesterday, although that video was recorded like a month before. Like I, I took I took a pretty big break, but we back now. Okay, be happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.